Hey. There is something I want to confirm about that teddy bear you said you lost. Could you tell us its characteristics? Characteristics? Masper is a really ugly teddy bear. He has sharp teeth, big ears like a rat, and for some reason he wears a red tie, which no bear should ever do. But the tie is just to hide his big belly button. He thinks he's hiding it really well, but it's blatantly obvious. That makes him sound like a monster. He's really cheeky and full-mouthed, and has a huge appetite. His food wasting habits can be under underestimated either. He loves sushi, especially with the fatty tuna. Really extravagant stuff. It almost makes me want to ask, is that tuna or salmon? Cheeky, full-mouthed, appetite. But he's always by my side, and helps me when I'm down. I've always relied on Masper to help me. He was the one who cheered me up when my mom died and I fell into depression, and he helped a lot in that mansion today. Master just... Master is such an important friend to me. I'm hopeless without him, so I have to find him. Uh, uh, you know, what's this girl talking about? Makes it sound like her Ted is alive. Oh dear. Mr. Skishigeva, please, stop this. Yotas. Don't worry, Ito. Yota's just playing in the forest. I'm going to go find him. He always gets so lost in playing that he doesn't come back into late. Yota, my dear Yota, don't go anywhere anymore. Mr. Skishigeva, that dog. Yota, say hello to Ito. Uh, no, Yota! I'm so sorry. He's so shy. M Mr. Skishigeva, you're... Let's get home for dinner, Yota. Tonight I'm making your favorite stew. Yes, ever since the death of her father. She said the most outlandish things. Has she told you anything about how we have supernatural powers? Or about a talking teddy bear? Magita, take her to the village office. B but what do you mean? I'm giving you back to Ms. Mirren and Mr. Shun. What? Why? Those two are criminals! Please, don't say that about your own family. Family? What in the world are you saying? Miss Mir and Mr. Shun told me everything. How you are their sister and have a lying disorder. What? We can't mail your family issues anymore than we have. I understand that shock of losing a father, but your siblings had to go through the same. The shock of losing a father? What are you saying? Those two killed my father! Stop it, please! Talking teddy bears. As supernatural powers don't exist. Wake up and face reality. Huh, wait! Now what? Oh! Okay. <laughs> Open this door! I'll go get the key. Please do. But I'm the one who has the key. <laughs> Aww. That's too bad. Miss Mijina, you can't be doing these things. Please, just face up to reality. You are a stubborn idiot. You said you can't mail in family agents anymore, right? Hmm? Yes, I did. And wasn't it the same with Mr. Skujikawa too? Huh? Maybe as an outsider, it's not my business. Do you really think it's right to keep this up, Peter? I think the way you're acting is absurd. Pretending a dead person is still alive, believing like nothing's even wrong. It's not me who needs to face reality. It's this village. Ito, I borrowed the master key. What's the matter? N nothing. Let's get inside. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I'm gone. Huh? She's gone. Shoot, you skipped this way! <laughs> so long. Oh, I'm him again. By the way, Yola. 
Huh? Yoda? Where? Huh? What? You're Yoda? Me? No. My name is Kito. Kito? Really? But that chart clearly had Yota embroidered on it. Oh, that's because it's my mentor of Yota. He gave it to me a little bit before that accident happened. I was scared to go to Dr. Ishikawa's office. So he said, take this and you'll be okay. An accident? Hey, mister. Do you think if Yota had his charm, he wouldn't have died? If Yota died because I had it, then... It's not your fault, kid. Don't worry. You shouldn't let that bother you. But I know Yota must hate me. I can't imagine that. Yota lent you his charm because he was worried for you, didn't he? A kind boy like that couldn't hate you. I ho hope so. I know. I guarantee it. Thanks, mister. I've done nothing worthy of th thanks. No, you yeah. have. I was wanting someone to tell me that. So, I'm really grateful. Don't mention it. Well, we should get walking. Yeah! So, uh, to the right then. Yep, here we go. Wait, the dog. The dog is over here. The dog is over here! I guess I wasn't able to save the dog after all. Well. Rest in peace then. Miyota. So. We are very close now. What? Oh. What? Where did that, that hole come from? Sometimes the ground caves in like that after it rains. That was a close one, huh? A bit too close. So here, north, Hikarugi village, west, more big farm. Hmm, should I go here? Mister, Hikarugi village is in that way. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, go get to Hikarugi village then. That's my house there, mister. Oh, okay. Wait, the dog is dead. That woman is going to flip out because the dog is dead. And it will be like the second death of that boy. Yota. Should I really get in there? Welcome back, Kito. Did you find Yota? No, I didn't. I see, I see. Well, those young boys and girls are out searching. So I'm sure he'll be found soon. Huh? Isn't Yota dead? Oh, er, uh, we're not looking for that, that Yota. We're looking for the dog. I saw him run into the forest, so I went looking for him. Who is this, Kito? I met him in the forest, and he went with me back here. Sorry to intrude, ma'am. Oh, did you really? Thank you for looking after him. No, it was no big deal. Oh, but it is. Shy little Kito's opened his heart to you. You must have been good to him. Ah yes, would you like some dinner? No, your thanks are enough. There's still something important I have to do. Oh, just one favor to ask. Can I borrow your phone? Yes, go right ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Hello? I know, I know. Ah, wait. No, don't hang up. I'm in kind of a bad situation. Hey, who are you calling? Oh, an old acquaintance. Huh. Mister, what's that? Oh, er, uh, this is, um... So that's yours, mister. I actually picked up other things like that while I was looking for Yota. Huh? Oh, wha-wah! Wha? Damn, boy. Oh, the poor thing. Give me a moment, I'll fix this up. Don't freak out when he comes alive, okay? But thank you. Masper, can you hear me? Hey, Masper! No good. 
maybe it won't be fixed that easily. Mister, you're talking to a teddy bear. N no, don't misunderstand. This is a... Uh, yes, this is a state of the art. A walking, talking teddy bear. Who are you calling a toy? Wow, he really talks. Masper. Hmm. Great to see you alive, buddy. Where's this? What am I doing here? Wait, where's Mayo? What happened to her? Oh yeah, it was at the woman. Shooting with the pizza with, with knives. Oh, she's gonna get it next time. Uh, this talking teddy bear says some pretty scary stuff. Calm down, Masper. They're not here right now. You got some explaining to do, old man. I know. Don't get so excited. Uh, where should I begin? Ah, yes, it was 18 years ago. You're starting there? So, let's summarize. 18 years ago you met the girl. She had lost her memory and you named her Miki. Right. You started looking into what happened to Miki using the shreds of her memory. Right, right? You found that Miki has been kidnapped by the Eye of Truth and put into an ESP training program. At the facility they called her the Puppeteer. Right, right, right. The Puppeteer could breathe life into dolls. And while I would love to promptly deny that a religious power like that could actually exist, it wouldn't sound convincing coming from me. Precisely. So the puppeteer fled the facility, married you, and gave birth to Maya. That's right. So now Mira and Ashun have killed Maya because they want the puppeteer's power sleeping within her. Which is ridiculous! <laughs> it seems to be the truth. How does it make any damn sense? Maya ain't got no puppeteer's powers? Why would the Eye of Truth target her? I don't know if Maya inherited the powers or not. But they must want the party's power enough that they're willing to bet on that small possibility. Still not make sense. I mean, they haven't tried to do nothing all the way since Maya's mom fled till now, right? That tells me the party's power isn't all that important to them. So why uh, wait 18 years? They come up with this bunker's plan to try and get their hands on it now. That, I don't know. There must be... There must have been an apprentice. Hey, look! The Art of Truth is on the news. Huh? Something happened. Uh, they just found out the Art of Truth's leader person died a couple days ago. What? The leader of the cult died just the other day. Mysteries of Mysteries, right around when their leader died, those two started plotting to kill Amaya. Wait, did they try to. They tried to revive him! Hey, my leader, what do they mean? That would be the most important person in their church. What? And they died? Then is the Eye of Truth like over now? Who can say? They're so late. What are they doing? Hmm, maybe our plan failed. Hopefully. Ishikawa, why are you here? You already got arrested for kidnapping like fools. Thought I'd come see. Sheesh. This is why I almost said not to get cocked about your powers. Why don't people listen to their elders? Shut it! What have you been doing anyway? Although I was told to. You can't complain about that. Hm, <laughs> very well. Where's the puppeteer's daughter? Did you not bring her here? Not the foggiest idea. I heard she tricked the youth club and ran off. What? You must be joking! Why didn't you capture her? That wasn't in the agreement. My job was only to examine the girl to determine if she had the puppeteer's power. And if she did, to awaken it. <laughs> you don't know how to adapt. This is why I hate to rely on people like you. Well, I think we ought to hear Rijikov's report before we go after our little puppeteer. You did do the job you were asked to do, right, Doc? Yes, of course. To make a long story short, Maya Mijino has inherited the puppet's powers. Yes, just as I thought. One step closer to success. And uh, the awakening, Theroff. You were successful, yes? No, I wasn't able to. I was interrupted in the midst of things. Hmm? You cannot be serious! How could you not have awakened them? You're completely used at you old scoot! We came to this village surely because of your ability to awaken powers. A monkey could do the extermination. We 
Wait, please, at least let me finish. I didn't awaken your powers because it was not necessary. Which means she has already awakened. Yet it seems she hasn't noticed. Already awakened? Is that true? Yes, I wouldn't lie. If you're lying, you will pay clearly. <sighs> I have a little faith. You haven't changed a bit, have you? Quiet. I'll crack at the egghead of yours. Oh, very scary. Well, I'll be taking my leave. Do not contact me again, please. Hold on. What now? Let us out of here before you leave. Why should I have to do that? Because... Well, let's not have any misunderstandings. I'm not on your side. My membership in this church is a thing of the past. I take the request of goodwill, but letting you free is a different story. I will betray this village. You rotten! If you don't let us out, I'll tell the villagers how you used to be a member of the church. Turning to threats, what a sad woman. You're going to have a hard time marrying. If you aren't careful with that back talk, you won't be living to ripe old age. Not the time to quarrel, you two. Look, Ishikawa, will you let us out if we won't we'll never bother you again? I get never again? <laughs> That's not just a lie, is it? Nope, I swear the name of a leader. Alright, Mirren. Mirren, say you swear. I swear it. We won't bother you ever again. <laughs> Very well then. Say, Ishikawa, don't you think anything of it? The leader is dead, yet weren't you one of the founding members? Your church has changed since then. I don't think anything of it, no. Hmm. Dr. Ishigawa. Hmm, was it what is it? It's good news. Well, sort of. We found Yota! Come back to Kishigawa's house. Oh, I'll be right there. Huh? Where did those two go? It was empty when I arrived. They must have made a break for it. They escaped! I need to tell Ito right now away! Huh? Why did one problem after another night tonight? Uh, anyway, we need to I need, we need you to take care of Yota. I'll go find Ito. What a future this old. Anything that way? No, I didn't see her. Hmm. Let's go back to Mr. Ito for now. Yeah. There are members here too. I need to avoid being seen. She's an electronic binge, crazy like